Hi there. Just waiting for my little circle to stop spinning to tell me that I'm live and it looks like I am. Happy lunch hour, crafty friends. I'm doing a little lunchtime live stamping today. I love, love, love taking a little creative break in the day. And I like to come on here every Wednesday at 11.30. Uh, 11.30 a.m. Central Standard Time to show you some simple but sweet projects that you can put together in no time at all and give you a little bit of a break in the monotony from your work day. So <clears throat> thank you for joining me as you pop on. Please tell me hello. I want to know who is stamping with me today and let me know where you're from. For those of you who are new to my Facebook page or haven't stamped with me before, my name is Rose Grunewald. I'm an independent demonstrator for Stampin' Up! And I am stamping with you today from my studio here in New Holstein, Wisconsin. We're kind of in the middle of nowhere and I love it. Um, for those of you watching live, I see some of you popping on now. Hi, Kay. Hi, Bernetta. I'm glad that you could join me. Kay, thank you so much for sharing. Um, those of you who have watched me before know that I love to give away fabulous prizes for sharing my video. And um, it so helps to support my business. I so appreciate it when you share. I just, it really makes my heart happy. So if you just want to take a minute as you pop on and hit that share button right down there in the corner, uh, post it on your wall and comment shared when you're done. See, Facebook changed all their stuff and now I can't easily see who shared my post. Um, so that's why I like when you comment shared when you're done. That way I know who to throw into my prize drawing. <clears throat> okay. If you're watching the replay, that's great too. You know, I don't always get a chance to answer all your comments while I'm live. That gets to be a little distracting sometimes, but I do go back and read every single one of your comments when I am done. And those of you who watch know that you get a lot of responses from me. So if you're watching the replay, please say hi to me as well and tell me where you're catching the replay from. I love to interact with you. Today, I'm really, really excited. I am going to show you some, a card, some cards, I will say, from the new catalog. Oh my gosh, I am so excited. And um, as Christmas time has been drawing near, I've been just reflecting a lot about, 2020 has been a tough year. I've been reflecting a lot about um, some of my best moments in 2020 so I can keep it on a positive and fun note and I was thinking it might be fun to share some of those with you guys today. So I'm moving my water out of the way so that I do not spill it. Um, I'm going to flip my camera around here and we'll get to prizes shortly. Hi Sue, welcome. Okay, so I was not live last week, unfortunately, because my grandma passed away. So I was at the funeral um, and uh, it was so nice to see family. And so it, it really sparked in me to make sure that I am staying in touch with family more often. And so this year I have made it a mission to send out more cards. So um, as you reflect on 2020 and some of the things we've gone through and how difficult it's been to connect, I hope that you make a New Year's resolution to send out more greeting cards. Um, there were people at the funeral who told me how much they appreciated getting my handmade cards in the mail, and that just really, really made my day. So looking back to two weeks ago, I just want to give you a little refresher of the cute cards we made a couple weeks ago. I call these gift wrap cards because I was inspired by the presents I see under people's Christmas trees. These sweet little cards are super simple and super easy to put together. They go together in no time. The designer series paper is the star of the show. 
I'm going to give away two of these cards as a prize for likes and comments since my last live. And the winner of two of these cards is Joanne Adams. So congrats, Joanne. I will get two of these out in the mail to you, but I need your address. So if you could send me a private message or you could email me at countrycardsbyrose at gmail.com, I'll get two of these in the mail to you right away. Thank you for your comments and your likes. I love it when you share the love. Okay, <clears throat> now the next prize, <clears throat> excuse me, is for sharing. And um, sharing always gets you the best prizes. Um, soon I will be, actually next week, I'll probably kick it off. I'm waiting for some product to come in, but I'm also gonna start giving away some prizes for ordering. So. Um, those prizes will be fabulous too, but sharing is an amazing, amazing prize. And this is the prize for shares this week. This is a card kit where you um, have everything that you need all cut and ready to go to make four of these beautiful cards using a new stamp set that I'll be showing you today. And the winner of this prize is for sharing my video that winner is Karen Wardley. So congratulations, Karen. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, I'm gonna work on getting that out in the mail to you this week, but I definitely need your address. So again, if you could pop me a private message or shoot me an email with your um, address, that would be great. Okay, we gotta get stamping because otherwise I'm gonna have to go back to work and that's no fun. So let me get a little light here. Ooh, that's a little bit. I think that's a little better. Let's see. There we go. <clears throat> Hi, Jackie from Nebraska. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Oh, thank you, Sue. It was really difficult. Um, my grandma was a really spunky lady. And she every time we got cards, she said, those are so neat. And when we went through her personal belongings, she had saved a number of cards that I made and sent to her. And that really touched my heart. So, <sighs> okay. Today we're doing some stamping with a brand new stamp set. This is from our celebration flyer. It's called A Touch of Ink. And it is my very, very favorite stamp set up there. Um, I just want to tell you for a minute how excited I am that I even got my hands on this. Um, being a discount shopper or a demonstrator, um, I do the business as a demonstrator. Um, if you sign up with Stampin' Up, you do not have to do what I do and demonstrate cards and, and, and run a business. You absolutely can just do it for the discount. Well, as discount shoppers, we get to sign up early and get our products before anyone else gets their hands on them. So that is probably one of my favorite, actually I'm really impatient, so it is. My favorite part of being a demonstrator is being able to get these products early. And as a discount shopper, you get the exact same benefit. So if you're impatient like me, let's talk because um, I can get your hands on these products now, if you like, because our pre order is going on. Um, we're also going to use some new paper. This paper is called Flower and Field Designer Series Paper. I'm going to use this pretty one with the daisies, and this looks painted. Really, really cool. Okay, I agree. This might be my favorite set ever. And of course, my grandma who just passed away, she absolutely loved hummingbirds. So when I got this in the mail, I knew it was perfect. Um, okay, and we are going to be making a card today that I made for my swap. So that is another thing that I love about being a, a demonstrator or discount shopper um, is that I am part, um, I have a team that all the discount shoppers who sign up under me belong to. And every time a new catalog comes out in various times of the year, um, we do swaps and we get so many ideas 
from um, other discount shoppers. It's a private group. You cannot be in the swap club unless you're on my team. And um, oh my gosh, it's so much fun. I love doing swaps. I get lots of ideas. So today we're making one of the cards that I made for my swap. So, okay. This sheet is 12 by 12. And I'm going to show you a really simple layout that uses the most of your designer series paper. So when I think of 12 by 12 cardstock or paper, I think of it in um, we've either got strips of four or strips of three or two strips of six. Well, this is going to um, cut some strips to use for these layouts that don't waste any little tabs along the side. Okay, so we're going to make our first cut and we're going to cut a four inch strip. So cutting a four inch strip. And then for our second piece, we need a two inch strip. So let me line this up at two inches and we'll cut a two inch strip. Now this is six inches I have left. And so you would get another four inch strip and another two inch strip out of this piece of designer series paper to make this layout. That's what I love about these cards. Now this two inch strip, I'm going to cut in half. So I'm going to cut it at six inches and I'm going to save this one for another card. And this is the one that we're going to use for this card. Our four inch strip, I'm going to cut down to five and a quarter. So line that up here, five and a quarter, and then save this for the second card or, you know, more cards that you're going to make. Okay, now let me move some of this out of the way. I've also got a piece of Whisper White here. And this piece is uh, five and a quarter by four. This will be for the inside of the card because our card base today is basic black. And this is just my standard half a sheet of cardstock. So it's five and a half by eight and a half. And then we're going to fold it here at four and a quarter. I'm going to use my bone folder and get a nice crisp edge. We're also using some just jade paper, but we'll just need a little scrap of that. So I'm going to set that aside for now. Okay. Now, what I love about this designer series paper is because it's two sided, these sides coordinate really, really well with each other. And we're going to use one side for a layer and we're going to use the other side for our next layer. Now what we need to do with this five in or the six inch by two inch strip after we've got it is I'm just going to cut off one inch of it. All right. And I'm going to use my triple banner punch for the next part, but if you don't have this punch, we're going to make a little, um, a little tag kind of down here in the bottom. If you don't have this punch, you can cut the same design out of here by cutting up the middle with your snips and then coming in and cutting from these corners up to the top of the middle, but it's a lot easier with your triple banner punch. I'm just going to slide this in here and punch. And here I've got my bear. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to start assembling our card front. Um, and let me grab. I think I want to stamp on the inside. I'm going to use this butterfly. Okay. 
As you know, I got to stamp the inside of this card. The other thing I'm really, really, really excited to show you today here is I'm trying to find my ink pad is I'm really excited to show you all the beautiful sympathy cards that I got from my team. That is another thing that I just love about being um, a part of the discount shopper group is that I have a wonderful, wonderful team of amazing ladies and I went to my mailbox the other day and it was full of beautiful sympathy cards and that connection with other stampers is just so fun. Um, we're all part of a private Facebook group, which I love, and we inspire each other and we have lots of fun um, creative contests. And we give each other ideas for our projects. Oh my gosh, I just, you know, when you have a hobby, you just want to talk with everyone you know about that hobby. And being part of that team is just so much fun for me. There we go. Okay, so there's the inside of our card. I stamped the butterfly in Just Jade. We're going to carry that Just Jade that we'll use from the front into the inside. And when I do the inside of a card, I love stamping an image kind of right on the side like that. So what do you think so far? Are you liking how this card comes together? I'm loving it. All right, now, the next part, we're gonna start to assemble this. It gets a little bit tricky because of how I laid out the layers. We're going to have our one piece of DSP here in the center. But when I put this tag on, I want this um, tag to match the top of our card. And I'm gonna wrap some ribbon around here shortly. So I need to glue this down first so I can get the ribbon wrapped around. So I am just setting up my card layout the way I want it to be. That looks good, nice. And gluing this down with my snail, snail seal. My goodness, I can't talk today. So what I'm doing is lining this edge up with the top of my card to make sure I get it in the right place. Like so. And I don't have any glue way up here, so I haven't glued anything down yet. But you can see that that piece of designer series paper is just a little bit, um, it's not quite lined up with the edge, but it will be lined up with the edge of our card, okay? Now I need to find my ribbon. Where did I put my ribbon? Here we go. <clears throat> um, the really super cool thing about this is that I'm using Celebration product today and when you're a discount shopper, you get to qualify for celebration rewards early too. So all of this um, stuff I'm using, the paper and the stamp set, I got for free because of my um, purchase volume from my pre-order. So I even get the chance to get sale, earn celebration stuff for free too. Um, early, which I really love. And I got it cheaper because as a discount shopper, you get a 20% discount and it only costs you 125, sorry, 99 bucks to start. You get to pick out $125 worth of product, which is the best deal in the catalog. Here we go. Let me just tie this. Okay. So I tied that in a bow. And this, by the way, is our Whisper White Crinkled Seam Binding. And I picked white because I wanted it to make the colors on my designer series paper pop. And like any other designer series paper, remember it always lists the colors that are in your paper right on the back. So Whisper White is one of those colors and I'm using some dark colors here on this card. And I thought 
that the whisper white would really, really make it pop. Okay, now we're just going to glue this down. Like so, oops, if you're using your seal and it ever doesn't wanna roll out, sometimes you just have to take your fingers and move that tape forward a little bit. If you're connecting it to a line that you already have down, the sticky seems to grab it and kind of move it forward for you and you don't need to do that. But just a little tip for those of you using seal. Seal's my favorite. I used to be a liquid glue gal and I am all about the seal and the seal plus. Okay, let me, hopefully you're not seeing the top of my head. I'm just lining up that top edge of our banner, oops, with my card. And I wasn't ready to set that down yet. There we go. Let's try this again. There we go. <laughs> Almost three times a charm, but I got it on the second try. All right, so there's our card so far. <laughs> now I'm gonna grab my uh, two and a quarter inch circle punch. I'm a punch gal. I love, love, love punches. And I'm just going to punch out a circle of my Just Jade. And I used a butterfly for the inside, so I'm going to use a hummingbird, I think, to stop now. <clears throat> By the way, this hummingbird is what I used on the card kit prize that, um, whoops, that Karen won. So Karen, if you earn Hummingbird during celebration, you can wait and use that stamp set. Otherwise you can replace it with something else that you like in the card kit. <clears throat> All right. And now I'm just gonna stamp this Hummingbird like so. And you know, it's really sad that we have to make sympathy cards, but um, as I reflected on all the beautiful sympathy cards I got, I realized I need to have more in my stash because when someone receives a sympathy card after a difficult loss like that, it just really means so much to them. So I'm gonna do thinking of you which really could be used for any difficult time that somebody's going through. That's the sentiment. I will stamp it here. What do you think? Isn't that neat to have that hummingbird kind of off of the circle and the sentiment over the top? Do you like that? Jackie says, love the idea of having a stamped image inside. Yes, Jackie. You always got to carry the party over to the inside of your card um, because we don't want the party to stop on the outside. Uh, and the thing is, especially when you could, um, I sometimes, if I have a sentiment, I will stamp it above. And I like to do an image kind of in the border. Um, and it still leaves you lots and lots of room to write. So I actually have more cards to share with you today after we're done with our project. So, um, and some of those are stamped on the inside as well. <clears throat> You'll see some more examples. All right, I popped up our circle on dimensionals and I am going to just set that there. Tighten up our bow a little bit. And I feel like our card needs a little bit of bling. So I'm gonna go for my pearls because I think 
it would be great to bring in more of that white. All right, and let's do one here and one here. And let's do another bigger one here. There we go. Here we are. There's our card. Do you love it? Now these are dark colors, but um, here's like an example of another of the color combinations in that set, how that would look. Because the back side of this one is a little bit brighter and you know, this coordinates as well. Either one of these really would be wonderful. So if you don't want to use the same front and back and you use that four inch, two inch strip method, um, that would work really well too. And um, let me move some stuff out of the way because I do not want to drop these cards and get ink on them. Um, I used the same layout with some other cards. So here is the hummingbird from the card kit set with the ribbon wrapped around and some shiny embellishments. This uses some new paper as well. And then um, here's one that uses the butterfly. Uh, I didn't stamp the inside of these because they were lighter colors, but I think it looks really, really nice with the stamped image. So you can get your hands on these products now. If you join my team, uh, you get your discount shopper kit for 99 bucks. You get to pick out $125 worth of product. I'll post a link to sign up above when I'm done if you're interested. Now, I wanna take a minute and just show you the beautiful cards that I received from some fellow stamp team members. Uh, and these are just gorgeous. I love this one. Um, it's got the Mary Moose punch. This is actually on sale right now, the punches and the paper is the plaid paper. I'm not sure if um, the plaid is still available. So that is gorgeous. And um, there is, actually this one is a Christmas card, but there is a strip of that designer series paper on the inside. So Jackie, how you mentioned loving to stamp the inside, you can carry the DSP through as well. Here is a beautiful sympathy card that I received from my teammate, Kathy. Thank you so much, Kathy. This is beautiful. Um, here is another one. Some of this stuff is retired. Uh, but we have these in our stash and the layouts are just gorgeous. And this is from my teammate, Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. I so appreciate that. Um, and here's one from my team, my fellow stamp team member, Jessica. This one is gorgeous as well. Thank you, Jessica. I so appreciate that. Um, here's one that uses our first frost designer series paper that is on sale right now while supplies last. Um, and my favorite so sentimental bundle. I love these um, sayings. It's just so warm and inviting. Um, and she used some of the designer series paper on the side like this as well. And this is from my fellow team member Candy. So thank you very much. That's beautiful. Um, Again, some of these use retired product, but it's the thought that counts and the beautiful, beautiful um, layouts. And this one just says, I'm here for you, friend, and um, I love it. And this is from my team member, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. And another beautiful one that says sending hugs from another of my team members. Um, <clears throat> this is from Judy. So. I just wanted to show you these beautiful, beautiful cards because I love that my stamping friends that are part of my team came together. That connection is so, so, so wonderful. And, you know, frankly, it's one of my favorite parts of 
uh, being a discount shopper is kind of getting to enjoy that connection with other stampers who love my hobby as much as me. So, all right, thank you for joining me today. I want you to use this layout on some of your Pretty Designer Series paper and show me your cards, post it in the comments. I would love to see what you make. Um, in the meantime, if you need any supplies, I would love it if you would shop with me and support my small business. My December host code here is G43ZNZBB, and you can find a link to my store on my blog, countrycardsbyrose.blogspot.com. While you're there, subscribe because I've got some exciting stuff rolling out, some online classes by mail, and I don't want you to miss anything. So, okay. I'm about to lose my voice for some reason, and it's time for me to get back to work. I hope that you all have a great rest of your day. Make sure you share the video for a chance at a fabulous prize next week. And uh, join me right here next Wednesday, same time, same place, 1130 a.m. Central Standard Time. I hope that you have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Bye.